I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Oh, I heard that! Jeez, are you whining already? It's only your second day. It's so jeez of you to do this. All I can say is, oh, jeez. You should drop, you should just stop being stubborn. Uh, hurry up and start killing already. What do you want? My, my, you don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive ever since you guys got here, right? You had the drive of an old man in his 50s. In order to get you guys your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at Great Tower tomorrow at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> that is your responsibility, so you figure it out. By the way, being late is uh, strictly prohibited. Bye -bye. Okay then, bye-bye! Service with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty. I can't stop thinking about food. If I know Monokuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. How are we gonna actually wake up? I pulled up the thin covers of my futon and desperately tried to ignore my hunger pains uh, and then went to sleep. So Today I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, what do you hate about Monokuma? And here are the results. He has a foul mouth, a terrible personality, and is a rude pig. But he's still popular despite all of that. He's a lazy asshole who doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's still more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody really talks crap about him. Then that he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves, that he can't live without me. He's usually cold towards me, but he takes good care when I am sick. He always slaps me around when he drinks, but afterwards he cries and gently hugs me. I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He's extremely responsive when the other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after he, she enrolled in middle school. Those were the results. Uh, I'm so loved. I don't think I'll belong to one person for a while. Oh boy. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it obviously must be from hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual, then headed straight to the lounge. Mm -hmm. 6.30 a.m. <laughs> it's a miracle I was able to wake up. As I recall, it's not bad if we get, gather, don't, it's bad if we don't gather at Grape Tower by 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Matakuma, but I guess I should go for on for now. What kind of dumb, not, well, not dumb, but what kind of motive, extra motive, I should say, not even just a motive, I feel like I'm going to get an extra motive presented to me and I'm scared about it. Great Tower is where we have to be at, so poor boys have to stay later. Um, are we going to talk about, oh, that's the Great Hall door. And that's Great Tower, okay. Wow, everyone gathered here early. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Uh, Man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining. You're bringing me down. I mean... But I'm exhausted. Not only can we not eat food, we're being forced here this early in the morning. This isn't about you. We're all going to get screwed here. But we're screwed... We're going to get screwed the most. Obviously, we're the more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take <clears throat> the contact elevator to get here from the strawberry house. So we had to walk all the way from the strawberry hall to the elevator, then walk all the way over here. That is a longer walk and more calories that you had to burn. So obviously you would be more tired. We would be more tired than you guys. Stop whining. Hey. Shh, you're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <sighs> I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys already are starting to brag about how unhealthy you are. You've got a lot of nerve coming here. Um, now that we've all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no. I just want everyone to be healthy again. Healthy? Hey, hey. You are losing your drive because you're burning rubber down on the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so you can feel all healthy again. So, from this way day forward, I'd like you to I would like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi part of your daily routine every morning. Oh, this motherfucker. I, I know I dropped an F-bomb. It's fine. 
Man is gonna make us do exercise now too. He's like, no, 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 no. We need you to burn more calories and feel even grosser about yourself. So that way you'll have a drive to kill. I knew there was an extra motive on this. Monokuma Tai Chi. All right, start the music. <sighs> Make I... optimal use of Earth's gravity and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Three, six, two. Control your breathing slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Naturally, just as you are, relax your body and mind. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Don't dawdle. We're sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is definitely super important. Oh, fuck off. We did a bunch of pointless exercise now thanks to you, and we're hungrier than ever. I can't move. You guys. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardiness or absences. Make sure you remember that one. That is. You intend to keep making us do this? Damn it. Guys, I don't think I'm going to last till tomorrow. Damn it. Enough already. How much longer is this going to last? This is troubling. Uh, didn't he say? Until the killing starts. This too must be the will it of causality. It seems the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it would be a surprise to me if something really. It would not be a surprise to me if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a in a place like this. If I'm gonna die in a place like this, I, I, I might as well. What are you saying? Calm down. Shut up. Shut I can't up. fucking calm Damn down. It. There's no food and no way to escape. If this goes on, everyone's just going to starve to hey. death. Wait, are you telling us just to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so you can kill us all. What are you even saying? Hey! Fess up! You've been secretly getting food from your future Foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear. You better. Stop. So... Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier, so let's just calm down for now. Ah, you're right. Even if you guys fight, and our situation is not going to change. It appears you cannot wait escape. to die from impending starvation, or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens. At any rate, it is a rather difficult situation. I... Which is the true hope? I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're going to choose, you should be hungry. The longer we keep waiting, the closer we get to death. conversation ended there. It seemed nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing, so we silently left Grape Tower. I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off. It's like I'm rocking in a boat or something. That doesn't mean I should stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everybody else is doing. Free time events! Okay. I knew we were going to get one more free time before shit hit the fan. Um, it's a matter of what and who I want to see at this point. And I have been talking about Fuyuhiko and how he's been growing as a person. Chiaki's always a win. We're, we talked to Sonia for the first time. Um, and the whole bottom row's dead, so we don't even have any control over that one. Okay. And I can't talk to Nagito, so that eliminates one person. So we have... We essentially have Fuyuhiko, Akane, Chiaki. We have five people we can talk to, essentially. Which, honestly, is not a bad... Oh, well, I just discounted Kazuichi, but I don't want to talk to Kazuichi anyway, so that doesn't, that doesn't matter. Um, I think for 
my first free time. I'm scared that I'm only going to have one free time event. I am genuinely scared that I only have one free time event. So because of that, Nekamaru, I wish you could talk to you. You'd be in a very easy spot right now. Um, because I'm scared that... Because I had three free time events before. I have a feeling we're going to get dizzy and not be able to continue. I'm going to go find Fuyuhiko to continue with, up with him and what he's doing. Akane's in her room. Sonia's in her room. Kazuichi. Okay, so Fuyuhiko does currently clearly have the strength to carry on, which I do like that he's the only one that managed to make it to his house. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I killed it. Oh my god, I didn't. It is... Oh, I somehow have not. But, uh, truly speaking, I think it is best for me to go see Fuyuhiko. Just because it gets another Link going. I had a bad habit... Fuyuhiko is in this room. I had a bad habit of not starting Link's. But I also had a bad habit of not going through with links. Hey, bastard! Tai Chi, is he fucking serious? What should I do? Should I invite you to go hang out? Yes, we should. Huh? I'm just gonna tell you right now, hanging out with someone like me is not all that fun. I spent all time today talking to Fuyuhiko. Looks like Fuyuhiko and I grew a little bit closer. Would you like to give Fuyuhiko a present? I don't know if we can, or what we have for him, but... Um, here. Uh, well, if you're going to give that to me, I'll take it. Although, this thing doesn't really look that useful. Hey, Fuyuhiko. How is that wound on your stomach doing? Huh? It's fine. It's nothing to worry about. I thought you would say that. You must be abnormally have, a, have abnormally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. Hmm. Or Yakuza. Hmm. I just have Yakuza blood flowing in my veins. There's nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this is all a dream. A dream, huh? How great would that be? Ah, oh, sorry. Obviously, you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well, That's not true. I've seen plenty of people die up to now. And as long as I am burdened with the Kazu Kazuryu name, I'll always be dealing with a mountain of bodies. But you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping into each other, or bumping each other off like this. This guy is always known by him as a death. I see he's used to it. Huh. Are you scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. There's no need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. Hey. The world is a barbaric place, and especially in my world. Everyone tries to sell things with violence, and you guys have different values than I do. Huh. My old man said predators are always stronger than their prey. He's a hothead, and he's... Even if it's a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. When, And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Being a Yakuza means you can kill the man you love with Eve to, to get your point across. Huh. I've been hearing that stuff since before I was old enough to understand what's going on around me. That's a pretty outrageous life. The world we both live couldn't be more different. Like... There were a few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. But... Whenever something like that happened, Peko always was there by my side. Oh, I'm sorry. I made you remember something painful. Huh? What? No need to apologize, you strange bastard. But still, I think it's a, I'm the rightful successor of the Kazuyu, or Kazuryu clan. I don't get overwhelmed very easily. <laughs> by the time I was in second grade, I didn't even cry. Even, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. I, I see. Good for you. Hey, bastard. Good for me. Don't treat me like a kid. I don't really know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not, I'm not much better, or I'm not, it's not much, but I'm starting to get to know Fuyuhiko a little bit better. Fuyuhiko's report card's been updated based off your experiences. Okay, cool. I'm trying to Fuyuhiko about some other things. I parted ways and returned to my room. Okay, yep. Okay, so what I feared seems accurate. Oh, I was wrong. I'm okay with being wrong here. Uh, Chiaki, you're right there. It's it's easy dubs. <laughs> I'll take the easy dubs. Sorry, 
Ah! <laughs> it's not easy, Dobbs. It's not easy, Dobbs. No. I was so happy. I was so happy. I was like, oh, nice. You're right where I want you. And it's like, well, actually, I don't feel like talking. And I'm like, well, that sucks. Um, I guess more of an opportunity to be with Gundam. And yeah, I mean, that's kind of my, my personal opinion. I mean, if I'm not able to, I mean, Sony is right next to me, but I want Gundam. Like, I want to talk to Gundam and get him to four. Get him to rank four, because I have probably one more. If I get one more free time out of this, I will be very emphatic. Because um, I would not have expected that to be the case. But I will definitely take that as W if I get a third one. Because that's six free times in this section. What is your business, human? I'm in the middle of containing the god of evil sealed inside me. The world would end if it's this being is released along with all the various multiverses. What should I do? Invite Gunnar to hang out. If you insist upon staying here, I shall. I have to use your energy, life energy for this seal. Of course, if you're not careful, you will die. And if you're still fine with that, do whatever you want. I spent time with Gunnar today. He seemed quiet and somewhat sluggish. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer. Would you like to give Gundam a present? Oh. Wait, the hard track. Oh! Will this do anything for me? <clears throat> Fine. Well, I must say you pass, but only barely. Be happy! Fine, in exchange for this item, I shall let you live a little longer. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, 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 hungry. If this keeps going, if it keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in a place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. Exit. I need to find an exit. Where is the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? The final dead room challenge is given to you by the headmaster Monokuma. Only those who win a life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the Octagon, the fabled Holy Land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final data room! That's it. There's still that place. Nobody's gone inside there yet. The life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right, that's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final data room. I barely have any energy left. I can't even run decently. Did we not get a point? Did we really not get a point? Hold the phone. Did we not get a point for Gundam? We did get a point for Gundam. What the fudge? That actually upsets me. Stop not giving me my point. Did I just give him a bad item or something? Oh! That's neat. It's not letting me run because we're on our last leg. That is... Oh, that is actually such good design. We're not able to run. Oh, I cannot believe this. As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help but placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win this life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? Th that That's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can't... I can get out. With this, I can finally get out. You can't do that. It's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find out what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's going to be here. There is no exit. All that's there is a life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you'll only obtain the weapon that Monokuma's prepared. Do you want the weapon? Are you planning to do 
What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense, worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hayane. Right? Okay? Jackie's saving our freaking butts. Jack and I went back to Great Palace. My body, the weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no other way to escape. Is it really okay just to lay here and take it, or... This morning, I couldn't help but feel angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but I don't really think it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Kablam. Hmm? How long was I asleep? I regained my reconsciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What, what was that sound just now? Was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Maybe I'm just confused. As soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with the ambivalence towards everything began to overpower my body. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Emergency! I had been Emergency. gaming all night into the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. There I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, and nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. Psh, there's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment and he all has all this pride because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show up, so he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, to, so he sponges off of his parents back home. As the fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I felt really bad about myself. My body wouldn't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels heavy, so I can't move. Also, it's really, really cold. Fiercely cold. At the core of my body, it's starting to get numb. But I, I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go to Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I mustered up to what little strength I had left and crawled out of my bed. What time is it? I feel incredibly weak from hunger, but I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Ah, it's already five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in that activity. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble and not just me. And I don't have the energy to complain. Let's go to Grape Tower. Why do I have a feeling that it's not going to be Monokuma Tai Chi and there's going to be a buffet? Though we need to gain our energy back. Oh, they've done so well on this chapter. Wow. Uh -huh. Oh, you are actually... Uh-oh. Some, something bad just happened because you are not this, like, energetic right now. Ah, oh, hi, Amy. Good morning. Sonia, you seem energetic. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> What's so funny? Amazing. My goodness, hi, Amy. When did your face become Mont Block all of a sudden? She's not in energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um... Just the corner is fine. So, may I take a bite out of you? Um, You'd get a stomach ache. No. Oh my! Now there's an adorable shortcake! That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you two. Are you about to. Are you about to head over to Grape Tower? Yep. It's almost time. Come on. If you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Hold on, pet first. Oh, that would have been close to adding to the despair meter. Surprise it didn't, actually. But I'll take it. Then I pressed the button. When I pressed the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was all very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. 
<gasps> no! Are you fucking with me right now? You really revived him just to fucking kill him the next ch- More dirty than I ever thought this game would get. <sighs> and if he is saved, then he's going to be saved to get killed. And I would almost rather him die now than give me the false hope that he's safe. And there's only one person that would be able to do this, you know, too. I saw the remains of our friend. I am pissed! I am absolutely pissed! A body has been discovered! Are you? <sighs> okay, that that's dirtier than I was... <sighs> now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. I'm I'm upset. I'm pissed right now. A violent shiver, a violent shiver coursed through my body. My heart began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating instantly. My teeth were clattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small, and I could barely hear it myself. Why Why is this happening? It is so strange. He finally, he finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please just wake me up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. Nikamaru! No, this is a lie, right? Talk Kazuichi about it, because his dumbass is the one that fucking killed Nekamaru. It's, it's what, no, it is, I am, I get that I am pinning this crime on freaking Kazuichi, but his ass needs to get grassed for killing Nekamaru. If if he is the one that killed Nekamaru, he is instantly lower than Hero. Just saying, he is instantly lower than Hero if you killed Nekamaru. I told you not to touch him. Based on our situation, the body discovery announcement. It's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing. I can't deny the truth, but why? As usual, that would be the only word I could squeeze out. Hey, hey what happened? Uh, Akane. Move. Move. Move it! Akane pushed me aside and ran straight over to Nekomaru. Why? Why is Nekomaru... Why did he have to die again? I know, Akane. Like, what the fuck? Damn it. I never paid you back. I never paid you back. For your help last time. <laughs> Damn it. How cruel. This. This is just too much. Why? Why did Negamaru have to die? Though his appearance was drastically altered, he still came back to us. Oh. Why? Why does this always have to happen? No matter how much I try to stop it, this always is the result. This is something I just can't stop. Damn it. Hey, Negamaru got killed, right? That announcement means that I, what I think it means, right? I won't forget hey, you. who did it? Who killed Negamaru? Go freaking rip Kazuichi's throat because he's the one who did it. Looks like someone's finally pumped up. You. Hey, you know who did it, right? Who killed Nekamaru? What? What do Don't get want? mad at me all of a sudden. In fact, I'm the one who should be mad. I went through all the trouble of bringing Nekamaru back from the dead, and he's already let the killer break him. <laughs> How disappointingly foolish. Maybe he had a few screws loose. No, it's Kazuichi. Uh -huh. You know. Because he's a robot? You talking about you... Maru? Thank you, Akane. Akane, calm down. No, honestly? Okay. Akane, you and I are having a powwow about this because you and I are probably as pissed off as... We're probably the most pissed off about this situation. Not Jaime. Jaime doesn't care. You and I, though, like, we care 
way, 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 way. And did I mention way more about Nick Meyer than most of the other people? So this is where you and I actually just have to have a hangout about that because we need to grieve together, okay? Ah, uh, use those powers that anger has, a, has awoken from the investigation. Um, um Monokuma, is there a way that you could fix Nekomaru? Hmm. Hmm, I could have fixed him if his head was still attached, but since he's like this, uh, it's impossible. Plus, last time this happened, it was my fault, but this time the killer is one of you guys. Yep. I am under no obligation to fix him for you. I guess it's a waste of it was a waste of time to ask him. In other words, a life that dies once will never return twice. That's reality for so... you. So even though it's getting a little boring, let's get on with our usual routine. It's the Monokuma file. This is a gift from me to you. Red bean bread and milk. Yay! I love it so much. <laughs> I brought you guys a present since the killing went off without a hitch. Besides, <laughs> if I don't feed you guys, you probably won't last long enough for the class trial anyway. I'll definitely find out who killed Coach Nekamaru. And after you. I kill that guy, you're next. I'll definitely destroy you. So even though it sucks, I'm going to eat first. But if I don't get some food in me, I can't unleash my full power. You're right. If we're going to avenge Mechamaru, then we must regain our energy as, as we can. Damn it, I'm gonna eat. See? Come on, Hayame. You too. Yeah, you're right. I've been waiting to eat something for so long. Damn it, I never expected I'd feel this terrible when I finally ate again. Hey! Hey! It's, it's slowly. Uh, it'd be bad if you got a stomach ache. We ate our food in silence. Slowly, my blood, be blood, began, my blood began coursing through my veins. I started to slowly regain feeling in my numb body. Whew. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, it looks like you've gotten your energy back. Uh, then let's hurry up and start it already. I'm gonna do it! The killer and you, I'm gonna beat the shit out of both of you with my bare hands. Again, save that for Kazuichi. However... Um, regardless of whether or not... What happened... What has happened to the others, they appear to be extremely late. You mean the guys in the strawberry house? Now that you mention it... No one's here. Mm. Oh, that's weird. They should have come to a Grape Tower because we had Monica with Tai Chi. Unbelievable. Oh, how acceptable. I never expected all of you to ditch Monica with Tai Chi. Honestly, it was beyond my expectations. What are you gonna do? Well, since it happened anyway, I guess it is what it is. Everyone ditched? Does everyone include us too? Do your best. <laughs> Do your best to investigate, and I'll see you again at the class trial. Mm -hmm. I hear, I hear something. Um, huh? What do you hear? Huh? Could it be Nekamaru? It. Of course not. He's dead already. Yo. Oh well. Now is not the time to worry about that sound. That sound. What are you talking about? I don't hear anything. Um. Um. And what about Gundam and the others? Is it all right that we? have them not some of them here huh. they're not gonna they're gonna come soon anyway now's all the time to worry about them you're right they should have heard the body discovery announcement already they probably will come soon maybe yep then we should start the investigation yeah you're probably right i gotta do it i have to do it first i need to look at the monokuma file The victim was Nekamaru Nidai, aka Mekamaru, after his robotic transformation. His body was discovered in Grape Tower, which is inside the funhouse. Uh, his head is severely damaged beyond repair, so that shall be considered the cause of death. Despite the fact that his arms and legs are dismembered, these limbs were actually designed to be detachable, and it seems they separated due to the severe impact. Aside from that, several other areas of the body is damaged. Because of this, many of his functions may have shut, had to shut down. His arms and legs were detachable, and it looks like they separated due to a severe impact. Does that mean that Nekamaru was repeatedly clubbed with some sort of weapon? But was there a reason they needed to club him over and over again? 
obtained a truth bullet. Want to Google file for it, but out of the truth bullet section of your handbook. Oh, and with that, I am absolutely angered. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. I am definitely so, so thrilled that we get to investigate Nekamaru's death. I'm upset. Oh, well, I say my favorite character. He technically... Uh, anyways, I'm making a whole bunch of bold claims because I'm mad. Thank you guys again. Like I said, so much for watching. I love you all so much. and We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.